Next this evening, the Greenwich residents worried that the value of their newly built homes have plummeted because of flammable cladding similar to Grenfell on their building. Hundreds of homeowners face huge bills to remove it, but there's a row over who should pay for the properties to be made safe. It's thought that, that there are around 50 other privately owned tower blocks in the capital with similar fire safety concerns, as Alex Bushell reports. You'd expect to pay a million pounds for a view like this. Now, though, the latest valuation says these properties are worth a fraction of what they cost to buy. For Nigel, that means his million-pound two-bed penthouse is now only worth £100,000. This is the problem. It's uh, ACM polyethylene cladding. It's the uh, very similar material to what was on Grenfell Tower. And uh, the polyethylene bit is actually apparently just like solid petrol. I chatted to a cladding expert on this and he, he said it was, you know, you're living in a primed barbecue, is what he said to me. It's horrific. It just beggars belief that anyone would have thought it was a good idea to put up high-rise buildings and, and clad them in what is basically petrol, solid petrol. There are now fire wardens here on constant watch, 24-7, for which the residents are already being charged. It is a far cry from what Nigel thought he was buying. Most of all, though, he wants to know who will pay the £30 million plus bill to replace the cladding. The developer should build something which was fit for purpose. I mean, you know, if you bought a saucepan, you could probably take it back and say, um, you know, this isn't fit for purpose. Um, I want a new one, but it's a building. It seems that there's no recourse. They can apparently get away with whatever they like. And not all the residents are wealthy. Brian is a housing association tenant, one of many in his block. Basically, it's just flammable stuff, isn't it? It could go up at any time. Uh, you have to be wary. We are people who are disabled, uh, might have issues. We are elderly people living here, so it's a mixture of people. It was our families. Uh, I'm more concerned maybe for the families as well, because it might not be easy for them to get out. So who exactly is going to pay to sort all of this cladding out? And as you can see behind me, there are a number of blocks with some 2,000 properties potentially affected. Well, for the residents, it's very clear. It should either be the freeholder, the developer, or indeed the insurer. The freeholder and developer are one and the same, Galliard Homes, and they're refusing to comment. The insurer is merely saying, that they'll look into the situation. The bottom line is then that after months now since Grenfell itself, no one has dipped into their pockets to sort this out. Which all means that this is now one of the most devalued views in London. Alex Bushell, BBC London News.